should be going. I know. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well this hump day. It is uh, Wednesday, June the 7th. It is a, uh, um, obviously the summer, we're into the summer already, about a weekend. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, hopefully your week is off and rocking and rolling. I know a lot of people are like, I got to get, spent a lot of time yesterday with phone calls on people. People calling me, ask me about the uh, Monopoly deals that we're working through. I've still got a few spots available for those who are looking to uh, find some deals. It's okay. But uh, we're rocking and rolling on it. I had an interesting conversation with people that are new. And, and today's topic, hump day habits, as I'll get to that in a second about some things. But today is International Boon Day. And they're, and they're like, what's Boon? I'm like, it's Daniel Boon Day. You know, many kids would uh, put on a coon skin cap and run around the house with You know, when they, um, I'm actually related back to Kit Carson, who is also a frontier man, but who's also really, he was a cousin of Daniel Boone. Somewhere back in the history, I'm related to Daniel Boone, I guess. <laughs> being some craziness. But anyway, chocolate ice cream day. Mm. I see ice cream in our future this afternoon. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get at is <clears throat> when you think back that yesterday was D Day. And today's International Boom Day. Think about what those people went through to get where they ultimately became. Now, obviously, D Day, we had millions and millions of young Americans, even guys lying about their age, to go overseas to fight the, the Germans, the Nazis. D going into some place they'd never been before, charging a beach, charging machine guns, charging bombs, charging you know, all that danger that happens out there. And then if you look back also at Daniel Boone, he basically, you know, I think uh, if I remember correctly, uh, he went into the wood in America for his family. Now, in the America that we live in today, we don't have to hack a tree line, we don't have to cut down, we don't have to set up a, bear, you know, snares to, to eat. We don't have to go down and find fresh water and travel, make our journey through the woods in America trying to find our way. Now, a lot of us are still trying to find our way financially or find out exactly who we are as individuals. Okay. Now, <clears throat> many people hit a lull in the middle of the week. That's why they call it hump day. Gotta get over the hump. And, and that happens to everybody. I mean, we were literally sitting around about 20 minutes ago here. What are we gonna talk about today? Right? Yeah. And as I walk to get my cup of coffee, my one cup of the day. I was sitting there thinking about, oh, it's hump day. Let's think about some great things. And I was thinking about, my once again, my conversations last night with people that were relatively new. People that are using some of the resources out there that want to be involved with things, but they're not taking that extra step to exponentially grow. I know we're wrong. This is like LinkedIn, all the groups that go on there, Facebook, and some of those groups. Bigger Pockets is an overwhelmingly growing uh, in uh, popularity when it comes to note investors. You've got a lot of people on there asking questions, but you also have a lot of people on there not doing deals that are answering questions. Now, you get a lot of people that have their specific niche on Bigger Pockets. Oh, I buy or I construct owner finance, no deals. That's what I do. You get some attorneys on there that have 20,000 comments, but you realize they probably don't do any deals. When they send you a recycled list, they're not probably doing the deals that they should be doing. So you be careful who you're learning from. The first thing that you want to keep in mind in building good habits is obviously educating yourself on a weekly, daily basis. I am constantly reading up on what's going on in the industry, reading blogs. And so if you want to write a couple things down, these would be probably some good posts in the, the comment section. One website that everybody should go to if you're in this industry, whether you're in um, – doing deals, you're in our marketing, you're looking as an outside observer, okay? SNews.com is a great website um, to look at because it's just got a wealth of information, all right? Especially on the secondary marketing side, they got five tabs at the bottom of different five areas. The and 
secondary marketing is where you have you know, and forgive me, Yahoo or Google Real Estate is a great one to look information on real uh, traditional real estate stuff and trends. But that's great stuff if you know the numbers behind the numbers. All right. If you know the numbers behind the numbers. Okay. But one of the first things I look at in the morning is I look at bsnews.com. What's going on? What's affecting things? You know, the great thing. If you have another website that you like or another blog or, you know, um, article or RSS feed that you tie into, feel free to put it below here in the comments. Okay. Now, <laughs> it's important too. That I see a lot of people that are like, oh, hey, I'm just going to watch videos online and I'm going to try to self learn. And I see that on bigger pockets a lot. People are like, oh, you don't, you should not pay for coaching. And I think that's the biggest crock of shit out there. All right. That comes from a broke mentality. Yes, many people, if you're in the industry and you've got 20, 30 years in the industry, of course, it's phenomenal. I'm not blowing my own horn. It is just great. We give you a ton of content over and over and over again. We hear from those that take the class, and the proof is in the pudding when you look at the people that have gone through that workshop who are closing deals out there in the industry right now. The, the proof is in the pudding, like I said. You get great content. It's a no smoke and mirrors. It's straight nuts and bolts, A to Z, to help you get rock and roll in the industry. Okay? There are people out there that just – give you a little bit of information theory and then upsell you and then to upsell you to upsell you again. And I agree that is the biggest complaint of people out there. There are some shysters out there. All right. But you can still get good information. You can still get great stuff from just going out and networking with those individuals. We agree with that everybody. Yes. Cause that's half, half of what this business is. It's not just not knowledge. It's knowing who to call when you need to call somebody who can you pick up the phone and text. Who can you pick up the, uh, you know, jump on the computer and send an email to? Hey, I need a lifeline. What do I do now? Okay. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? You can call. You can pull. <laughs> There's a whole variety of things that you can do with the notice street. Actually, a cool game. Advance questions for everybody. Lifeline. That would kind of be fun. Um, that's a good idea. I might want to, want to do that. But is taking a class or you're really diving into information online, maybe you need to just pick up the phone and call somebody. Hey, who'd you learn from? Because we've all learned from different people. Okay. Some has been good, some has been bad. I'm going to be the first one to tell you. I've taken a tremendous amount of workshops over my years. Some are good and some are like, eh, not worth wasting my time, depending on where I want to go. Okay. Now, also, I, I talked to several individuals yesterday who are brand new that are wanting to get started, but they come from a scarcity mentality. Like, I want to just do seconds because I can only afford seconds, or I only got 50 grand in my retirement account. And I really want that to grow. This is where it's important for you to educate yourself on a, on a regular basis and learn what to do. If you don't, if you're not going to put or hours, it's not derogatory. You just realize there are some things that are going to be worthwhile to take. To do you want to take it six months to get where you need to be, or six? Because that's six to delay your success dramatically. But if you can take it, ramps are incur extremely steep. Any questions or comments from people? Uh, Sarah says hi, Scott. Cooper says hi, Princey. Oh, hello, Sarah. <laughs> Good morning. We miss you. As well, but habits of, is of learning. 
It's picking up the phone. It's talking to people. Maybe it's just having a conversation. I do this on a regular basis. I'm reading these websites. I'm finding what's going on. Um, I'm constantly looking at like Investor Business Daily and the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times for some of those, you know, nuggets of what's going on in the industry. Who's buying what? What's kind of feeding the back end? What's feeding the front end? That's we're going to see things change in six to twelve months. Well, I'm looking at foreclosure stats. I jump on the phone and. I check with, uh, especially here in Texas, uh, the Roddy Report, the foreclosure listing service. I'm checking that, okay, how are, are foreclosures, are they going up, or are they going down in, in the bigger counties that we look at, that we live in? We not, might, may not buy a lot in Texas, but I look at Texas being since the fastest foreclosure state. When you should start seeing Texas move like this back and forth, it's slower in other states, like Florida, Ohio, things like that, that are longer foreclosures. When we start seeing foreclosures bump in Texas, you have to watch out in other states. Okay, huh? It is it is the ripple. It is definitely the butterfly effect for making things happen. So, I mean, you can always just if you're looking, you just literally go follow Adam Adams and get two good articles per day on Facebook. Yeah. Mind too, because he does a great job with it. But there's those if you're hitting a hump, you're not networking enough. I can guarantee you that you're not reading enough. To help you out with things, you should be checking. Like I said, you should be checking out DS News. You should be checking out LinkedIn. Some of the different distressed groups out there. You should jump on Housing Wire, Google Real Estate, Yahoo Real Estate. You just get so many great articles. I mean, even US Today will have some great stuff from now and again. But spend some time. Spend some money. Invest in your education. Okay. Would you rather go to uh, Harvard? And pay, if you had the money to go to Harvard, you, you'd go to it, right? Versus going to Harvard, uh, ITT Tech, or whatever like that. There's a big difference in disparaging information where you get your education from, and what's effective. I mean, you can see ITT Tech shut down because they were they were basically just diploma factories. Harvard's never going to get shut down. Well, we hope it's not because it provides good education, even though expensive. Now, I'm not telling you that you got to go to college. I'm just simply saying there's a difference in what you get what you pay for. If you get zero, you're paying for zero. Hey, you can't be upset if somebody's publishing something that's false because you're going to see a lot of that, okay? Because I see people like that that call me. Our own people are calling like, oh, hey, I need to uh, order a credit report. I'm like, for what? Well, don't I need to do that part of due diligence? Like, no, that's part of the seconds. Who are you learning from? You got to understand that. And that's why it's sometimes, hey, going to a workshop, you're going to be able to ask questions with the instructors and things like that. You're going to make things happen. So if you're interested, we do our next virtual workshop. All right, Ben. Awesome. Rockstar. Yeah. I got all I got rock three rock stars here and around there. You go. So uh, definitely important to get this stuff done. Any other questions or comments from people? No, I mean, does the website start today? They're hump day. They're like, oh, it's Wednesday. I don't know if I want to work today. I don't want to go to work today. I just want to stay home and play. If I had to do it my way. <laughs> yes, the greatest hits by Scott Carson. All right. So another thing as well, guys, it's okay to, to piggyback on some people's information. If you see websites or blogs that you like, it's okay to share that information with your database. It actually helps increase your brand awareness by providing good quality content. I got a buddy out of uh, Atlanta, and that's what he's done for years. He's built a huge database by just sharing blogs once a week. Hey, here's four or five articles I thought were string, and here's a short paragraph of what I thought was most important about this. Okay, to make things happen for everybody. So, um, hump day, everybody. I know you're like, or on vacation or trying to figure things out. I know there's quite a few people that are breaking down assets and, and taking things, trying to get some more deals that close. We're getting ready to close on 42, 41, 42, 42 deals this week. Um, Jennifer and Greg are doing a great job reaching out to realtors. Been a little challenging though, right, everybody? Mm -hmm. With a longer holiday weekend and getting people to do some stuff. Just a little. Just un poquito. But <laughs> one of the things is, I know a lot of people will reach out via a phone call, all right? Or an email. And they send an email and they wait for a response. What you have to do in today's market is an email is good, but you gotta follow up with a phone call almost immediately just to touch base. Hey, because you never know if the person's on vacation, you never know if they're out traveling to the Dominican Republic or on a cruise. Or drop their phone on some tile. Or drop their phone on some tile. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you got to be prepared to go next on that stuff. 
Now, if you're having a hard time finding realtors, Active Rain's a great place. You can go to realtor.com, you can jump on Zillow, give you those phone numbers, there's three options. Now, everyone's gonna work a little bit differently depending on the market. I've had success with all three. I've also had all three of those fail at some point, depending on the location and that stuff like that. So the best thing you can do is, is charge bonkers into it, e email blitz, phone blitz, and then following up with people. If they tell you they get you something in, in 72 hours, make sure you call them up in 48 hours and just double check. Reminder, because a lot of things can happen, and especially a lot of liquid lunches can take place for realtors late in the afternoon, okay? They, they're notoriously for doing that, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna leave you with is a little thing that is very important this hump day, is know what you do. Yes, you need to know the do that you do, <laughs> okay? Know what you do, dudes, okay? And the thing about that I'm trying to get at is when you're talking to people, you don't want to have diarrhea of the mouth and throw up on them, okay? You want to be, when people ask you, what do you do? It's very simple. It should be a very simple response. Our response should be, we buy defaulted debt. Say it after me. We, we buy defaulted, defaulted debt. We buy defaulted debt. Backed by residential and commercial real estate. I know. I was doing good. You're doing good. But that's what I'm trying to get at. Your first sentence should be very simple. We buy defaulted debt or distressed debt. Or like I heard Stephen Lloyd say in New Jersey, a good one is we raise capital for real estate projects. Okay. Just know what you do. The last thing you want to do is fumble around and, uh, uh, you know, hey, we buy defaulted. We buy distressed debt. We buy defaulted debt. We buy mortgages, you know. And then we work to try to keep the borrowers in the property. Very simple. We buy distressed debt and we work to keep the, the borrowers in the property. That's pretty understated, but it's also very simple enough. You're probably going to have people go, oh, that's cool, or tell me more about that. And then that's where you go, uh, that's where you get your permission to kind of talk about what you're doing. We buy the mortgages, we become the bank, and then we try to work to keep the borrowers in the property. If they don't pay, they don't stay. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You know, that, that might be a great t-shirt. You know, pay, you know, stay. I know, I have it going as one of the infographics. You have one of the infographics? It, it either has gone or is going to go. Okay. Yes. Is it the lady? Yeah, Ms. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. We used that uh, note camp last time, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. It's a good one. So, but what was it? Stand up, go network. Stand up. Stand up, go to a networking event. Stand up, go to a conference. I know a lot of people are going out to Dana Point this week to go to the IMN conference this weekend. We're busy closing deals, which is okay. And then uh, just, just be yourself. But know what you have to say. Ask somebody that's in the same industry, hey, what's your elevator? Give me your elevator speech and tweak it. Okay? One of the best things I love saying is we turn problem properties into profitable solutions. I mean, that's a little bit of a tongue tie. <laughs> Alliteration. All right? <laughs> but it makes people think of what's going on. So we close notes, everybody. That's exactly what we do, we close notes. So if there's no other questions or comments from anybody, anybody? So go make your Wednesday, your hump day, your bitch today, go make it happen. And don't forget, it's International Chocolate Ice Cream Day. We'll see you guys all at the top, everybody, bye.